Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Azaz Taste Test. This is going to be episode two, um, or the official episode two uh, of Azaz Taste Test. You know, going into 2020, excuse me, 2021, I'm bringing the series back and uh, checking out some items that, of course, I haven't um, tried before. Now, if you're new to this, please hit that subscribe button. I don't like being one of those annoying people that say hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Make sure you switch it to all and uh, get all the updates, all the community posts, and things of that nature. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, World Warriors Collective, or ADS Play 101. Um, matter of fact, follow me on both of them. But nevertheless, man, uh, we have another item here to try for the first time. And if you're, if you're new to here, to the series, what I do is that I try items that I have never tried before for the very first time and give my honest reaction on how I feel about them. And um, today, we're going to be checking out one of two new Kit Kat bars that I've seen, um, not in the United States, but I've seen them in Japan, if that makes any sense. Like, I've seen the flavors in Japan before, like other people that do, like, Japanese candy reviews and things like that, that of snacks and stuff that we don't have in the United States, and it seems like finally they brought those flavors over to the United States, and I finally get a chance to try them. So they got two new ones. They have, uh, this is the new Kit Kat duos. This is the mocha and chocolate, and they also have a... A chocolate and mint a mint and chocolate one I'm not too fan of mint flavored candy or anything like that um, even with peppermints is it's just not my taste so I didn't bother with getting that one um, but I did get the mocha one uh, this is chocolate um, so I'm pretty sure they got caffeine in this so they say crispy wafers and mocha cream with coffee bits and chocolate naturally flavored with other natural flavors you know you gotta love it when they say that the nutrition facts to anybody that gives a damn why is there red 40 in this? For those of you who don't know what red 40 is, that is literally crushed. That is carmine. In other words, uh, cockroaches. They're like little red cockroaches that uh, food companies, they freeze dry and then they crush them and they make a, a powder out of them. I don't know why the hell they put red 40 in this, but nevertheless, I know you, some of y'all could have went without knowing that, but hey, the more you know. Um, and it's linked to respiratory problems pretty much, but nevertheless, I'm still try it. There's a nutrition facts for anybody that gives a damn. Smart label, scan here or call 1 800 uh, blah blah blah. Y'all see the number for anybody that gives a damn to actually do that. So now that we got that out the way, I'm pretty sure this is going to keep me up to some degree. Wait a minute, did, did the nutrition facts mention anything about caffeine it being in this? I mean, there's there's coffee in this so of course caffeine will be in the in the product without a doubt so I'm not even putting it past it that caffeine is actually in this damn thing I mean coffee has caffeine in it and unless they I guess maybe dehydrated or something like that maybe it can, it can take some of the caffeine out but it's candy you know what I mean I'm pretty sure this is meant to keep you up there's actually something that um, when I was going to Grambling State University, uh, there was something that uh, some of the students used to do there where um, where what they would do was that in order to, to you know, if they have like a test or they, or they needed to be up late to try to like uh, learn something or to, you know, hit the books late at night because um, they got a big test coming up. What they would do is, is they would eat like, you know, like regular Kit Kats. This is way before this flavor came into the United States. They would eat like Kit Kats and drink a Coke. And basically that, you know, that sugar would keep them up. That was like the uh, something to keep them alert. So it would be interesting to try this. So let's unwrap this and let's uh, see, what's, see what it's about. Still feel like I'm eating coffee. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the back of it. Let me uh, crack one of these. Ugh. Give me a goddamn break. Okay, so it's melting a little bit. So here we go. Little coffee bits. You probably can't see them that good. I need to focus this. I don't like how my fingers over the damn. I hate when this thing does this. There we go. It's melting in my hand right now, so this is it. So I want to go ahead and eat it, check it out, because it is melting. Let's get a, a smell of it. A sm it's, there's a strong coffee smell in this, obviously, from the coffee bits. But um, 
I definitely want to go ahead and bite it and try it out. Yep, coffee. That's going to keep you up. I bet if they're still using that Kit Kat bar, Coca-Cola um, combination, and they got access to, the, and if they have access to these in Louisiana, I guarantee those regular Kit Kats get switched over to this. Because that coffee is strong in there. It's a nice mixture too. It has a nice flavor to it. You know, it mixes well with the chocolate. Of course, this is the mess. Back in the day, there was an old M&M's commercial. They say, melt in your mouth, not in your hand. I'd be damned if Kit Kats didn't do the same thing. But, um, it's pretty good. It's not bad. Um, I wonder what took them so long to bring it to the United States. Like I said, I know Japan, India, and other foreign countries, they had the, these flavors already. So, to see them in the United States is actually refreshing. Um, I, I wish I, I, a piece of me wants to try the the mint chocolate one, but I'm not a fan of mint at all. It's just not my thing. So, unfortunately, we kind of asked out on that. But um, with that being said, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this food review of the Kit Kat Duos Mocha Chocolate. Um, expect to see a lot more of these. I'm gonna try to do at least one to two a week. Um, you know, maybe that. But I'm going to try to do it at least once a week at the very least. So um, with that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, peace. And I will see you guys next time for another Azaz Taste Test. Till next time, remember, be, hum be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no mercy to Kit Kats.